<laughs> you should you should have seen his face when you punched him. Yeah, he's an idiot. Why would he touch my woman? Mm -hmm. The target was his nose, he's lucky. <laughs> oh my darling. You uh, look like Superman in there. My Superman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh focus, focus. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. And I wasn't. I didn't take too much, did I? No. Oh, yeah. I know I didn't take too much. Did you? You took too much! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold up there. Why are you flashing the torch in my eye? Are you okay? I'm rubbish. You're just driving around right the city. Baby, mm. uh, hey, do you think I have a beautiful step? You are beautiful. What are you? You are. You are an amazing. Mm. Who, the, who are you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what are you trying? Wait. Okay. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> are they trying to follow us? They're not, yeah? Okay. Remember, the life we're supposed to live together so we can be together. The vacations, baby. You live expensive life. We don't need to do hide and seek anymore. Think about it. Don't you want us to be together again? Huh? We get married, travel. Hey, hey, hey. Stop! You don't have to look. Focus on me. Hey, shh, baby, come on, look at me. You, you are a wealthy girl now, you are rich. We are rich. Hmm? <laughs> Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't understand any of this. What's there not to understand, Sula? It's boldly stated there that you don't have access to your father's inheritance until you marry Mr. Nathan. Failure to do so in six months, your inheritance will go to charity. <laughs> but th th this is impossible. Okay, my father loved me. I was his princess. There's, there's no way he'd let this happen. But well, that's his will.
barrister. I'm uh, I'm certain there's something we can do about this. Ways we can sort this out. Just name your price. We'll come to a conclusion, and then no one has to know that this document ever existed. Okay. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. You have to fulfill your father's every last wish. After then, we can. I can come back and we can have this conversation again. Barista, look at me. Take a good look at me. Do I look like I can afford hardship? Let's just, this is a minor issue, let's just solve it right here and now, okay? I'm sorry. I really wish there was something I could do for you, but I can't. My hands are tied. I can't do anything. <sighs> Camilla, where are you coming from? Daddy, why? Why are you still up by this time? Young lady, you have not answered my question. Where are you coming from? I was... I was out with some friends. What friends, Camilla? What friends? Those party freaks? Drug addicts? Street crawlers? Worms? Are they your friends, Camilla? Daddy, they're nice people. You just don't know them. Shut up! Shut up! Camilla, you are a graduate of Harvard Business School. Look at what you've turned yourself into. A street slot. Yes, that's what you've turned yourself into. Camilla, nobody will accuse me of not giving you everything. I have given you everything. The best education. The best that life can offer. But you have chosen to live this way. To live a useless, fruitless life. To make yourself so... unmarketable. That's what you've turned yourself into. Come now. Don't allow me to wash my hands of you. That will be very terrible. Daddy, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Joel. I tried using both my cards to make payments a few minutes ago, but they both got declined. Do you know what the problem is? Okay, so fix it. All right, I'll be waiting. Thanks. That was my account officer. Oh, okay. But mm. well, babe, do you think your dad has something to do with this? What exactly would my dad have to do with this? And besides, even if he had something to do with it, Joel would have told me. Okay, I just think it might be like a network issue or something, okay? Oh, okay. But first, eh, let me put it on the map. We need to find somewhere to eat. I am famished. A bye. Okay, so go down. Then I think you take this first left. We can still buy the same dress. And I said, okay, so if you want me to buy that dress, I guess, like, I don't want to have the same color with you. Is that fine? Oh, she's so funny. <laughs> and then the lady kept asking what color I wanted. And I said, what, what other color would I want? <laughs> <laughs> so what color did you choose? Um, yeah. no, I think I ordered the red and blue. Red and blue? You're just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I'm full on. My money to get that. All right. Mm. Yeah. Um, babe. Do you think this problem has been fixed to it? Definitely. Okay. Mm 
It's declined, ma'am. Excuse me? Declined, ma'am. Give me the card. Hey, Joe. When are you going to fix this problem? It's been over an hour. Daddy did what? Hey, Joel, hang on. I'm, I'm certain there's something. Joel! Oh, yeah, what happened? Daddy put a restriction on my account. I thought as much. So what do we do now? Um, okay. Hey, so um, my card is having issues. I'm just going to go home and grab some cash. My friend will be here. All, All right. right. I'm sorry, ma'am. We don't do that here. You don't do what here? Hmm? What is it that you don't do here? My card isn't working, so I want to go get you cash and you don't do that here. Are you listening to yourself? Let me watch you try and stop me. Nonsense. I can't leave how? Hmm? Do not test me. Are you listening? Do not try me because you don't even know who you are speaking to. Excuse do you understand me. that? Um, what is going on here? Sir, they're finished eating and won't pay. Hey, that's not what happened. I just finished eating and my card declined. Who are you? Are you the manager here? Because if you are, you need to fire this little thing, this bundle of garbage, okay? I finished eating and my card is declining, so I want to go home, get cash, and pay what I owe. And she's telling me I can't go? Um, I am truly sorry about that, but you have to pay her what you owe her. That is the rule here. And who exactly do you think you are? Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? Do you have any idea who my father is? Because he will turn this whole place into a kiosk if he finds out what you're doing to me here. Treating me like a criminal? Wait, you know what? You look like the chef. Call me the manager. Manager! Yes, I am the manager. Look, I encounter people like you every day and I know how to humble you. If you don't pay this money, you're not leaving here. That is the rule. Do you understand? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah! Uh. Uh. Do not let her leave this place. That's your place. Are you asking me what do we do? What do we do? Okay, you just keep it. Okay. James isn't picking up either. Imagine Natasha telling me she doesn't have money. She and doesn't have money. I saw her on a yacht yesterday on her Instagram story. She doesn't have money, my ass. Gosh. And I just paid up my rent. I'm not having any cash with me. Okay, um, daughter of the governor, as the manager of this noble restaurant, um, you girls will have to help us tidy up this place very well, clean up everywhere, wash the dishes, because in the next hour, 30 minutes, we'll be closing up, so yeah. Just get to it, okay? Hey, hey, you can't do this to us. I mean, it's not nice. Hey, hey, manager of a kiosk. We are not. Stop touching that thing, okay? And it is very insulting for you to think that, that either of us will touch these things. Do you understand that? We will not. I will have this place shut down. Never will we lower ourselves to touch these instruments, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Daughter of a senator, since you couldn't pay common 21,000 naira, you have to pick that instrument and clean up this place. And when you're done blabbing, you get to work. Rubbish. Hey, don't do I like have that. To shut up your mouth. Don't do kill you, dear. No. I can't do this. I am not touching it. Cindy, you, you start. Oh, wow. I, I cannot touch this. No, I can't face this. Oh, I don't do that. No. I, I should start. Cindy, you should start. How? I don't know. 
Come on, go sweep, whichever. We only came here to eat. Oh, and now that none of the cards are working, hmm? what are we going to do? And daddy's not picking up. Natasha says she doesn't have money. We are Start. not cleaners. No, I can't. I can't. I can't touch it. Start. We should try and see what we can do. We can't do this. We only came here to eat. Okay. Daddy, how could you put a restriction on all my accounts? Daddy, do you know the humiliation I had to go through today because of you at the restaurant, at the boutique? Watch your tongue, young lady. Daddy, why did you do that? <clears throat> I think I need to rest now. Daddy, answer me. You can't just walk out. I'm just doing that. Daddy! Daddy, when will you open them back? How am I supposed to function without my card? Hmm? I don't know why he hates me so much. Hmm? Why can't he just let me live my life? Tell me, why should a father hate his daughter this much? Trust me, your daddy loves you so much. And he's only looking out for you. Really? Yes. By restricting my account, he's looking out for me. Oh, please. You need to apologize. No. That is never... I'm not apologizing. For what? If you want all your money back, then you apologize. Yes. You need to think about that. Okay? I'm sorry about everything. I really am. I'm sorry and... And I'm ready to become the daughter that you want. <laughs> Camera. The daughter you'll be proud of. Camera. Are you doing this for me to reactivate your account? No. No, Daddy, this isn't about money. Really? Well, Camilla. I want you to get married. Excuse you? Get married? Daddy, no. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready for marriage. And I, I won't. No. I am not begging you. I am asking you. Rather, I'm commanding you. <laughs> You'll get married. You marry Nathan. Nathan is the son of Chief George, who is the largest investor in our conglomerate. I'm actually doing this for your future. No, make it comfortable in the future. You, you're doing this for my future? Mm -hmm. Picking the highest bidder or investor in your company and deciding to marry me off to his son is for my future? No, no, Daddy, you don't get to wake up in the morning and tell me who you're selling me off to. No, it is completely unacceptable. I will not marry this person. Really? Get off the screen. Get off the screen. Daddy, I'm not marrying anybody. Greg. We have a serious problem. My dad wants to marry me off to someone I don't even know. <laughs> they play. You're joking, right? Greg, I'm serious. Okay, he wants to marry me off to the son of his business partner or something. I don't know. What in the world are your cool man now? What in be your own self? Ah. Uh -uh. Why is he trying to spoil things for me? Spoil things for us? Listen, babe. You are mine. Okay? You get that? Nobody can separate us. 
not even God himself. So tell that to your father. Son of a businessman. It's kind of nonsense. What were you saying on the phone? That my dad is trying to marry me off to some son of his business partner or something. I don't know. So have you met him before? No, never met him. I've never even heard of this guy before now. Oh, that's his fault. So did you tell him about a Greg? Tell him what? Like, what exactly am I supposed to tell him? He'll have my head. And besides, Greg is... Greg is not the kind of guy my dad would approve of. Then you make him the kind of guy he wants. Yeah. What do you mean? Your dad wants a responsible man. Then give that to him. Daddy? Mm -hmm. Can we talk? Sit. Daddy, there's... There's a young man that I met a couple of months ago. And... We've been talking ever since. And I like him. I know you want me to marry this Nathan guy, but I don't even know him. I've never met him. And, and to be honest, there's no guarantee that we'll like each other when we eventually meet. And I know you're only looking out for me and you want the best for your baby girl. But before jumping to make any of those decisions for me, please just meet Greg. Please, Daddy. Invite him over. Really? Yeah. Okay, I will. <laughs> but there's a caveat. He must meet my expectations, or you'll be forced to marry Nathan. Don't worry, Daddy. You won't be disappointed. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Perfect. Really? perfect. Mm -hmm. Come on, this is ridiculous. I look, look, look. I look awkward in this. Must I wear this? Yes. Yes, you must. Please 
perfect. <laughs> Can we not do the glasses? I look like a scholar, all these old teachers in school that don't have money, I don't like it. It is very necessary for our lives to seem believable. Do you understand that? Now remember, you... You went to any prestigious school you can think about, okay? And you studied accounting. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. smile. Perfect, let's go. Now, you hang your hand like this. There we go. Say you love me. I love you always. <laughs> I won't be in <laughs> soon. Young man, where do you come from? Iroku local government, sir. Really? That's where Senator Fabian comes from. That's my uncle. You know him? We are very, very close. I'm his favorite nephew. Really? <laughs> oh, we come way back. He's my friend. Mm. What do you do for a living? I'm, I'm a professional doctor. Medical doctor. Really? <clears throat> well, that's quite interesting then. You know, I've had this uh, CVD for some time now. And I usually fly abroad for medical checkup. Well, uh, I mean, I can now make use of your services. I don't need to fly abroad anymore. <laughs> I, I serve and I will continue to serve mm -hmm. to the best of my ability, sir. Mm, really? Now, what do you think, you know, people suffering from CVD should abstain from, you know, precautions to take? Uh, sir, uh, <clears throat> I, are you sure you want us to discuss this in front of your daughter? I mean, <laughs> from man to man, you know? Oh, well, it's okay. I mean, this is family. We can't always discuss anything. So, I, it's not like CVD is a bad infection. It's not. I mean, I've been there. Yeah, I've been there. We know how we handle it. I'm, I'm just shocked. Well, surprised, but shocked that even at your age, sir, you're still performing and, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 I admire it. Uh, but, yeah. My technique is easy. It's the easier technique. You don't need to fly abroad for any of these things. What is CVD? Mm. Just an infection now. Mm. Just stay hydrated. Stay hydrated? Yeah, plenty water. I'm sorry, enough water. For CVD? <sighs> it's for continuity, sir, you know. <laughs> mm. Interesting. I clearly told you what to do, and you blew it. What is your problem? I pleaded with you. But you walked right into his hands. Jesus, you could have just stuck to the plan. How am I what, what am I supposed to do? I wanted to impress the old man. How am I supposed to know he's a smart one? Senator Fabian. Is your uncle? Really? Really, Greg? That's his close friend, and we know every close relative of his. So, like, where were you going with this? Jesus! You should have just stuck to the plan! <sighs> look, my dad doesn't want to be impressed. He just wanted a good and responsible man, and look where you've put us. You've ruined everything! My gosh. So what do we do? I mean, clearly, there must be something. I really don't know what to do at this point. It's, it's no longer in my control. I know, no, no. We have to control this. You can't say it's not under your control. We have to. <sighs> you wear this suit for nothing. Senator Fabian is your uncle. Really? Really? Daddy. 
Kamala? Why did you bring that nincompoop from? Because he was wearing cheap suit and he thought he was handsome. So he came to take you away. Diane, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry that you brought such a fraud into my house. Now I'm disappointed in you, Kamala. I am so disappointed in you that you could stoop so low as to bring such a market fraud here. I love him. Will you shut up, you moron? How can you love such a fool? Now listen, Nathan is coming for dinner tomorrow night. You better be of good behavior. Are you listening? No. Why can't you understand I don't want to have anything to do with this Nathan person? Really? I love Greg. Ah, you love Greg? Tomorrow evening, Kamala. Tomorrow evening. <laughs> ah. Yes, Chief. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm fine. And your father? He's fine. You know, he actually flew from London two days ago. Mm. And he's getting ready to retire. I, I, I have to retire <laughs> too. But I have to leave something for my angel. You know? Yes, that's true. And how is the restaurant? The restaurant, well, it's growing gradually. Ah, of course. Of course, we'll get there someday. Yeah, slow but sure. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, speaking of my angel. Yes, Daddy. And what exactly are you doing here? Hmm? Oh, do you know each other? Yes, at, at the No, uh, I, I don't think we've met before. I'm very sure of that. Oh, well. Uh, angel, this is Nathan, uh, my uh, friend's son that I was speaking about. And then this is my angel. Yes, Camilla. Wow, <clears throat> Camilla. I must say that you are very enchanting. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, uh, well, I, I guess I'll leave you both. Um, I, I need to catch up with some rest. I'll meet you both at dinner in two hours. Thank you, Chief. Enjoy yourself, Nathan. Thank you, Thank you sir. OK. Ah. Um, all right, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. You son of a... You know what I want you to do? Get up and get out! Why should I? Because I hate you. Okay. And, and, and the, the sight of you disgusts me. Is that all? I feel like strangling you. I feel like doing the same to you. So yeah, we're even now. This arrangement by the devil will never work. I don't want an asshole for a husband. Neither do I want a prideful, arrogant, spot brat for a wife. Hmm. Huh. That's exactly what I am. An arrogant, prideful, spoiled brat. So during dinner, you're going to tell my father that you don't want to marry a woman like me. That way we never get to see each other ever again. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> ah, really? Hmm. Nice dress, by the way. I see that. But it's nice. I have to compliment you. You don't like compliments? So what do you think about my daughter? Um, Camilla has a, has a very interesting character and, you know, we had a very nice conversation. Mm. I told you. I like her mm. and I would love to get to know her more. I told you. I told you. She's a rare gem. She's the apple of my eyes. Indeed. 
Mm. I leave you both. I have something to catch boys. So when you get home, greet your father for me. Sure, I will. Good night then. Thank you. Good night. Darling. See you later. Good night. Careful with the stairs. What exactly was that about? I don't understand. You don't understand? We had an agreement. Tell my father you don't want to marry a spoiled, arrogant, prideful brat like me. Hmm? Did I say that? No, I... I did not say I was going to do it. In fact, I never said a word. But if you think that I will let you walk away so easily, then you lie. Brace yourself because I am going to be your worst nightmare. Are you threatening me? Oh, no, 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 beautiful. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Cheers. Come on. Be nice. Kamala, I have made up my mind. You are marrying Nathan. Shouldn't that be my decision to make? Shouldn't I have an opinion about the person I get to spend the rest of my life with? You have made up your mind? I don't like this Nathaniel or Nathan guy. Why can't you see that? Kamala, I gave you chances. You blew them, all right? And now I have made up my mind that you're going to marry Nathan. Daddy, you shouldn't do this to me. Aren't I your princess anymore? Oh, darling, that is the more reason why I have to do this because you mean the whole world to me. You are everything I've got. So I have to give you the best. And the best is neither. For you. Nathan is the best for you. Oh, how would, how would she ever know that this is the best for her? Why would she want to settle down with that nincompoop, that idiot, that liar, that complete fool? Oh, no. No, she must marry Nathan. Yes, Nathan. Oh. Look, there's no time to explain, okay? Just get your things, we have to go. Go as in, I, I don't understand, like we're running away? Yes, can't you see? My dad will never let us be if we stay here. Just look, come, pack your things, let's go, okay? <laughs> Listen to me, even if we stay here, he'll marry me off to someone. Can't you understand that? We have to go. <laughs> this better be a joke. Can, can you hear yourself? You want us to run away. You want to run away? Who will you leave the money for? The, 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 the houses? The properties? Your inheritance, who do you want to leave it for? Craig, I don't care about all those things, okay? What I care about is you. I love you. And we need to leave if we really want to be together. Do you understand that? Hmm? Okay, I just want to be with you. Okay, okay, fine. Listen, I have about 500,000 naira in my account. I can gather a little more and then we can leave. Okay, so go pack your things. Hold on. Five. Yes. Five hundred thousand. What happens when the money finish? What are we supposed to do? Huh? Come in. <laughs> Have sense over. You can't be with me and be having this kind of sense now. Come on, go back home. I did here. Go back home. I'm not running away with you. Don't worry, go home. Love is here. He's not running away. Go and get the money. 
it's it's your right. It's your it's your inheritance. Your love is here. Hmm? It's here to stay. That money, if you leave it, how will it stay? What? You want to run away? <laughs> okay, sit down. Let's let me understand. Sit, sit. Let me sit. You're here. You're here. So you run away. What happens to the money? Um. What, is, what is wrong with your old man? What is wrong with that man? Even in death, he keeps tormenting us. I don't understand this. No, no. What, what kind of father tells the daughter you must get married before you inherit my property? Hey, Who does? That's enough, okay? You shouldn't speak about my late father like that. What your focus should be is how to get me out of this mess. The, the dead is dead. The living is supposed to enjoy. I won't let you marry that man. No. I won't. Hey, Greg. You more than anyone, you know that I don't want to marry that man. Okay, you know that. But if I don't, I'll be forced to forfeit my inheritance if we fail to come up with a plan. What the hell are you talking about? Forfeit? What is, what are we without your inheritance? I have nothing. It's not even an option, just erase that one. Like, I'm so pissed. Imagine this stupid girl telling me uh, she, she will forfeit her, her, her inheritance if I don't come up with a plan on how she will not marry the guy that she's meant to marry. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? She wants to ruin all my hard work. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I've worked so hard, all right? Putting up yeah. with that girl's behavior. It's hard work and I can't let it just go like that. Well, I think you should try convincing her to marry the man. Yeah. Yeah, because if she marries him, she gets her inheritance and divorces him after. What do you think? Hmm. That's smart. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. For real. Yes. Wow. That's why your partner. Oh, yes. <laughs> I decided. Yeah. Come in. You have some nerve showing up here. Hello. Won't you at least ask me to sit? What do you want? Hmm? How are you holding up? do you care? I care. Believe it or not, I do. Well, don't, okay? Just don't. And as you can see, I'm, I'm doing fine. And I'll do much better if you stop showing your face here. Camilla, you should get used to seeing my face. Over my dead body. Did you hear that? And if you didn't come here to say anything reasonable, then please, kindly get out. Okay, I'll leave, but if you need anything, you know how and where to find me. Do have a nice day. I can't even believe what you're asking me to do. And I won't do it, okay? I can't stand the sight of him. Maybe it's just... You don't have any other choice. Okay, he's just temporary. You, you marry him and then divorce him after a month. It's not like you're going to be with him forever now. Look, I can't, Greg, and I won't. You can't. Stop saying that you can't. I don't like that word. You can do it. For us. Hmm? For the life we are supposed to have together. Please. It's just... I'm scared and I don't want to lose you. 
lose me. <laughs> Babe, you are not going to lose me. Your love is here to stay. Okay? The love is not going anywhere. What is not here is your inheritance. Your love is here, so go and get your inheritance and bring it here. So this love will be sweeter. Hmm? Hey. You're not going to lose me. You know, I knew you would come, but I did not think it was going to be this soon. What do you want, Camilla? I'm ready. I'm ready to marry you. Are you sure? Yes. I'm certain. Because I just want you to know that I am not going to make life easy for you. Are we doing this or not? Okay. I see someone is ready. Who are you ready? Married, so stop calling her phone. You get that? Idiot. What happened? Can you, can you, can you, he picked her call. What? He had the nerve to warn me not to call her again. Why would Camilla allow him to touch her phone? That's not nice. just a fool. He doesn't know what is coming for him yet. Now, why exactly did you do that? Hmm? Did you even know who called? Greg, your ex-boyfriend. Camilla, you're a married woman now. I did not force you into this. You decided to do this yourself. Okay? Whatever you had with your ex-boyfriend is in the past. I will not tolerate you talking to him or communicating with him. Jeez. Hey, don't think for a second that you have control over my life because I'm married to you. Do you understand that? I will speak to whomever I want, whenever I want, and there is nothing that you can do about that. Get that into your thick skull, husband. Where's my breakfast? <sighs> I am talking to you. Why is there no breakfast? 
If you want breakfast, maybe you should fix yourself something, okay? I'm not your cook or your maid, Mr. Husband. Where are you coming from? Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey! I said, where are you coming from? Hey! Who exactly do you think you are? Pulling, pulling my hand and questioning me. My father? I am your husband. And I have every right to question you! <laughs> you think I'm joking? Well, I... Do not consider you my husband. Okay? Husband my foot. You don't walk out of me hey. when I'm talking to you. Hey! You listen to me. Listen to me. I am your husband. And as far as you're in this house, you live by my rules. Make me. Hmm? Camilla, come back here. I am not done talking to you. Come back here!
So, now that I am married and I fulfilled my father's greatest wish, can I now have my inheritance? There's a part you didn't get to say because you were in a hurry. A part that says you have to be married to your husband for two years and also having a child for him. <laughs> this is some sort of sick joke, right? You must think I'm dumb, right? Or, or wait, wait, did Nathan put you up to this? Take a look at this. And what is this? This, this is fake. Did you hear me? This is fake and you, you are a scam. You know what? You can actually lose your license when I sue you for ganging up with Nathan to give me this piece of shit. Did you hear me? Um, your father's My signature is in there. You know what? That is fake and you are a liar. And by the way, you can get out of my house. Who the f you? I'm the man you have decided not to leave a wife alone. What are you talking about? You know Camilla? Yeah. You know her, right? That's my wife. I came here to tell you to stay away from her. Stop calling her and stop communicating with her. I don't know what games you're playing, but I know who you are and what you're doing with Cindy. I will not sit down and watch you harm that girl. You hear me? You're warned. Stay away. It's the nerve of that idiot coming to warn me to stay away from Camilla. What, what was he thinking? That his threats would get to me? He's an idiot. But why does he care? I thought he didn't like her. We don't have time. We don't have time. We need to act fast. We need, we need to get this money. We need to travel. We need to have kids. We need to stop getting married. We, we need this money. We will do all of that. Okay? Just be calm. So that's what you keep saying. Look, pressure that useless friend of yours, okay? Pressure her. We need this money to come out. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, hey, what exactly is it that you think you're doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? No, no and no. I am not sleeping in the same bed with you. It's not happening. Go find somewhere else to sleep, okay? Who do you think you're talking to? Do you realize this is my bedroom? You should be the one looking for somewhere else to sleep. Can you imagine? Tell me I can't sleep on my own bed. Where did you come from? Hey. Fine, suit yourself. Hey, hey, don't, 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 don't break my door. What's wrong with you? Can you imagine? Telling me I can't sleep in my own bedroom. Hey. <laughs> I'm heck. I'm just I'm trying to sleep. <sighs>
Good morning, my beautiful wife. Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? So what you do all day is to wake up, eat, watch movies and sleep. Then tomorrow you repeat the same routine. And what would you rather have me do all day? Sit and watch you all day? Hmm? When I go out, it's a problem. When I sit at home all day, it's a problem too. Hmm? Can you ever for once be useful? Look around you. What is this doing here? Huh? What does that have to do with me? Clean! Clean? Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? Back home, I had maids to my beck and calls, okay? But now you don't have them anymore. You'll have to do the chores yourself. No. No, I will not, okay? No. What you have to do is hire some maids. Or do you not have money to do that? Hmm? Unbelievable. Wonderful. Please drop these off at the laundromat on your way to the office. There's a washing machine downstairs. Make use of it. And besides, I'm not going to the office yet. <laughs> you must be joking, right? Wash my clothes with the washing machine? I don't even know what to press on it, okay? I've never washed my clothes before. Then wear the dirty clothes like that. Excuse me. Wow. Good job. I'm actually proud of you. Do you need help? Anyway, um, the lines are at the back. <laughs> Oh. 
What is this? Camilla! Camilla! Why exactly are you screaming my name at the top of your lungs? Who made this mess? I did. Why? Don't you know how to wash dishes when you, you, you're done using them? <laughs> Why can't you let me be? Hmm? Why can't you let me be? I told you, hire in me. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Back to what I was doing before you interrupted me. My friend, go there. Clean those dishes and clean this kitchen. <laughs> and if I don't? Camilla, do not try me. I'll be back in 20 minutes to check. Just try me and see. Asshole. I heard that. Cindy, you do not know how hard it has been living under the same roof with that man. He makes me do chores. What? Yes, I cook, I clean, I do laundry. I'm, I'm practically taking care of the whole house. And I cook for him like, like a slave. He's okay. such a brute and I hate him. I absolutely hate him. How about the lawyer? What's she saying? Well, she's... She said that... The will said I have to be with him for another, another two years with a child. Can you imagine that? Another two years living under the same roof with that man. I'd definitely go insane. I would. I'd run mad. No, that's such a long time. So what do you do about that? Sit married to him? No. No, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm going to frustrate him out of this marriage. You see, if he walks out on the marriage, I can still walk away with my full inheritance. So I'm going to frustrate him. It's just... I'm... I'm worried about Greg. I don't know how he's going to take this. I don't even know how to tell him. See, Camilla, you don't have to worry about that. I'll talk to him. And you know he listens to me, okay? Thank you, Cindy. I mean... What are friends for? Imagine a Cindy without Camilla, or a Camilla without Cindy. I'll always be there for you, okay? <laughs> uh, um, I have something to tell you, yeah? It's about Nathan. He threatened Greg to stay away from you. He did what? Yeah, he keeps threatening him, and you should find something to do about that. Camilla. How dare you? Hey. Hmm? Do you know what I need you to do? I need you to stay out of my business and out of my life, okay? The easier and sooner that you understand that, the easier our lives will be, okay? Do not for a second, Nathan, misunderstand my calmness for weakness. Do you hear me? And the next time that you even fathom the thought of speaking to my friends or warning them to stay away from me, you will see a completely different side of me. Did I make myself clear? I will burn your house down to the ground with the both of us in it.
<sighs> Where are you coming from? I went to get food. You went to get food? A married woman going out there to buy food instead of cooking for herself and her husband. Hey, 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 please, okay? Nathan, I don't need any of your lectures this evening, especially not now, all right? I'm not done talking to you. How dare you touch me? You are my wife and I have every right to touch you. Oh, you do? Yes, and you see this? You're not having it. It's either you cook for us to eat, or we stay hungry. Give me back my food! Nathan, give me back my food! And why exactly would you do that? Look at that kitchen. Just take a look at that kitchen. It is well equipped. Mm. Make use of it, wife. Watch me make use of your stupid kitchen. Really? Mm-hmm. Let me see you go in there and touch that food. Matter of fact, what is this? I'm not watching football. You're trying me. Matter of fact, let's watch ourselves. Are you serious? Mm hmm. Hello? <coughs> Cindy, I need your help. Is everything okay? No, I'm a mess. What happened? <coughs> Look, I'm, I'm trying to make jollof rice and I don't even know what to do. <laughs> you, Camilla Cook? <laughs> it's not funny, okay? Sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just hilarious. I can't imagine you in the kitchen. Calm down, it will be over soon. Just calm down, okay? Look, okay, I, I really need your help. I, I don't know what to do, okay? And this man is starving me in this house. He won't let me order any food or buy any food outside. He says I have to cook and now I have a, a bunch of things here that I, I don't know what to do with. The worst part is I can't even disobey or, or even try because I'm cash sapped. I'm broke, Cindy. Can you believe it? I am broke. Just calm down, okay? We'll come up with a plan to get you out of there. No, no, it won't be. I am trapped here with this monster for two 
years and I'm frustrated because I can't even cut the stupid thing. But first, let me walk you down on how to make jello first. Do you have some fresh tomatoes? Your protein? Onion? Bell pepper and all that? Garlic? Yes, I have onions and carrots and, and cucumber. Alright, then you're good to go. So what do I do? Okay, I'll put you on speaker. Hmm. You made this? Actually looks good. I pray it tastes good. <coughs> Where in this planet do you <coughs> do you come from? You can't cook? I told you I never cooked before. And you're proud. You're proud to say this. Mm-hmm. Listen. You should be grateful that I took out my time to prepare this feast for you, okay? I'm not obligated to cook and serve you. Unfortunately, where I come from, we don't waste food. So you see this? Until you finish this food, you can't make anything else in this house. And I don't want to see you buying food from outside. That's absolute nonsense. Why don't you maybe learn how to cook like a real lady? You know, being a man doesn't exempt you from the kitchen. After all, you are the master chef. So why don't you, you know, cook something? Oh yeah, I, I know. Thanks for um, giving the shout out to the master chef, but in your dreams. So what's the problem? You sounded so urgent on the phone. I need money. Rent is due. This car needs maintenance. You see, AC no day. Fuel, you know, all those kind of things. Then I need money f for my pocket, you know now. Hanging out with the boys. Somehow, see a guy man like me, no money doing. Yeah. So, how much exactly do you need? Uh, <clears throat> like two, one million naira is okay. Really, Greg, one million naira? I don't have that kind of money right now. You know how things went down with my dad, my accounts being blocked, my inheritance just hanging in the air. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? I can't even boast of 50,000 naira right now. Do you realize that? I understand. It's not like I don't. I do now. Yeah, but you have to do something. Ah, you have to do something. How can a guy man like me? I don't have money in my pocket. It's, it's not. It doesn't make sense. You listen, I'm now. I'm your baby boy. How will I be proud outside? Okay, fine. Okay, I'll, I'll come up with something and I'll and I'll let you know. Okay. Just don't put me under pressure. You don't have any problem. My girl, why would I pressure you? Hmm? Uh -huh. I hope that guy has not touched you. Has he touched you? No. Why would he touch me? I just want to be sure you didn't give him my thing. No, you're right. Hmm? I love for you, eh? Hmm. Five and six. No fee separate. Hmm? I love it too. I know. Hey. Hi. I, um, 
I need money. What do you need money for? Do I have to explain what I need money for before you give it to me? Yes, because I don't pick money on the streets. I work hard to earn it, so whatever I spend on must be worth it. Fine. I need to change my nails, do something new to my hair, and maybe get some new pieces of jewelry. I'm bored of these ones. Oh. Yes. I don't have money for that. You don't have money, Nathan. You and I both know that's a lie. I did not say I don't have money. I said I don't have money for that. Look, if you need money for your nails, your hair, and all that crap, work for it. Yes, I mean, clean the house, do the dishes, do laundry. You know, make yourself useful and I'll pay you. So I have to do all that for you to give me money. I have to involve myself in acts of slavery for you to give me money I deserve. Do you know who you are dealing with? Do you have the slightest idea? I am rich, Nathan. I am wealthy, filthy rich, okay? I own 60% of Linden Group's of company, just in case you might have forgotten that. Oh no, I have not forgotten, but... <laughs> That is a company you don't have access to. One that only I can determine you get it or not. If you do not work, how would you know the value for money? You want it? Hey, I don't need another one of your lectures. You work for it. <laughs> Nathan. So it has gotten to this? Stealing from me? Hey, hey, watch it. Do not call me a thief, okay? And think about it. If you had just given me the money when I asked for it, I wouldn't have to go through the stress of stealing it. Oh, so you're admitting to stealing? No, do not put words into my mouth, okay? And besides, I don't consider this stealing. I just took a little bit of the money out of the bundle, okay? And besides, what is one millionaire? That doesn't even cover my skincare alone, okay? Okay, the next time you need money, work and earn it. There is dignity in labor, 
Okay, don't chipping yourself into stealing. I mean, look at you, you're a very beautiful lady and, and you're stealing? It doesn't make sense. Here, you can have it. Considering my financial position, you should spend wisely this time. I will be. You are the best. Mm. Mm. I love you. I love you, man. I have to go. A stupid man is at home. I'll see you later. He's back. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, Alpha. She gave you the money. Oh, yeah, she did. Calm down. <laughs> Relax. I think something good came out. Money for wicked, don't show. <laughs> Beg, before you squander, I, I, I will need to pay for my wig. Yeah, the wig I picked up last week. That one day, that one day. <sighs> tired. I'm really, really tired. See, you just need to relax. We need this money. And it's not as if we can do anything without it. Mm. The time is almost here. Just a few months left. A few months? Hey, what are you talking about? You're talking about two years. Two whole years. That's a long time to wait. It's looking like Mission Impossible already. I can't wait for that long. Ah, we don't have that time. Two years. You won't get that far. Trust me. I'll make sure of that, okay? You just need to be calm. Please. Calm. I don't look you with side eye. Why will you let your fellow man do this to your face? Man, you call that, that idiot a man? No, 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 he came from the back. Well, what chances do I have? No, he should have come in front of me now. Look at me. That man is doing too much. Sorry. Sorry, okay? Hi. Hi, oh God. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> Mm. Hey. What happened? That animal husband of yours did this to him. You. Nathan did this. You better keep him in chains. This harassment is getting out of hand. 
come in. See? I can't. Okay? I can't do this anymore. You have to find a way to get out of this marriage of yours with all your inheritance. Or else, just, just stop talking to me. What is this now? Look at my face. Look at what that idiot did to me. It's not as if he came from, 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 from in front of me. He came from behind. And he calls himself a man. He should have come front face to face and see what I would do to him. Hmm? He's calling himself a man. Is this what he does to you at home? Better go and know what you will do about this. Look, 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 look at my face. Look, 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 just look. Fine boy, he's gone. No problem. No problem. This matter never end. Touch, touch me. Look at my face. Eh? Fine boy, don't go now. Does it make Sorry. any sense? Sorry. You should speak to you, please. Told you. Come out from that place with, with inheritance, so. Sorry. You were fine. Are she gone? so much. You hate me so much that my happiness, it, it aches you, doesn't it? Why are you sounding like this? You hate me so much that you had to marry me so you can torment me for the rest of my life. You manipulated my father into tying my entire existence to you. And now you want to take away the little bit of happiness that I have. You want to separate me from my friends. Are you sick in the head, Nathan? What is wrong with you? Are they really your friends? Because trust me, there's so much going on behind you that you don't know of. Camilla, you're so gullible and easily to deceive. They're only using you. Look, I'm just trying to protect you. Protect me from what? My friends? In case you haven't noticed, Nathan, you are the one person that I need protecting from. Do you understand that? You trust them that much, don't you? Yes, I do. What if I tell you that your friend and the man you claim you're in love with are sleeping together? They are using you. You're so blind to see it. You're pathetic. Nice try, but I didn't fall for it. Well, I knew you're not going to believe it. That's why I never said anything about it. Nathan, please, I beg you, free me from this marriage. Give me my divorce and let me walk away with my inheritance and I promise you will never have to see my face again. I promised your father I'll take care of you. <gasps> and that I'll make you happy. I'm not happy! Can't you see that I'm not happy, Nathan? I don't want to be here! I don't want to be your wife! If you really want to make me happy, you should let me go. Give me the divorce and let me walk away with my inheritance.
I'll give you what you want, if that will make you happy. When? I'll call my lawyer and we'll start the process as soon as possible. Good. I also want you to know that I don't hate you. Believe me, I really do care about you. Whatever I do is not to punish you, but to put you on the right track. Because I, because I love you. Because I want a life with you. If you think the other guy is going to give you a better life and make you happy, then you should go be with him. I saw your bags in the car. Where are you going? Just in case you haven't been able to put two and two together, I am leaving you, Nathan. What? I can't live in this house anymore. I can't be your wife. Okay, I'm done. And please, get your lawyer to send me the divorce papers. I'll send you my new address. Come on.
Listen to you. I shouldn't have trusted them. <laughs> when I met Cindy, she introduced him to me as her cousin. And he was cute and funny, and I liked him. I gave him everything. <laughs> I thought he loved me, and we were gonna get married and live happily ever after. <laughs> but he used me. And they cheated me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. <laughs> went to arrest Greg and Cindy this morning and they were nowhere to be found. <sighs> I hope they both brought in hell. Information from a detective friend is their lovers. They've been on a wanted list for years all over the country. Their real names are Maxwell Egbe and Gloria Eric. They move from one state to another with different identities. What they do is they target a rich family, befriend a member, build trust, and then manipulate them into giving them a huge amount of money, either for investments or marriage arrangements. I deserve everything I got. No, don't say that. Nobody deserves to be cheated. Okay? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry, Dad. <laughs> you 
You know, I, I remember the first time you spanked me. It was my 14th birthday. And I had just thrown a glass of water on the house help. And I hated you. <laughs> All those years, you just wanted me to be better. I didn't understand. You wanted me to respect and value people irrespective of what, what they are and what they do. But I've always been a spoiled brat. I've always done the opposite. I was never the daughter you were proud of. And I'm sorry. But I miss you. And I love you. And I'm sorry I didn't say these things to you when you were here. What I would do for just a single moment with you now. I love you, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey. You're back just in time for dinner. Yes. Milk. Wait, you, you cooked? Yes, sit down. Let me get the food. Okay. Why do you look like that? I am surprised. You made this? Yes. How? Well, 
I learned. Someone once said I should do so, right? Yes, I did say that. Try it. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. And I hope it's good because I spent hours on YouTube learning how to make this. Okay. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Mm. How is it? Mm. A little salty, but it's good. It's good? It is good. Trust me. Are you sure? It is good. Mm. Now let's see. I'll just taste that. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Good. This is. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. We got a chef in this house. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. You did good. Thank you. Trust me. Thank you. I'm impressed. Mm. Dressing yourself? No. Baby. Hmm? Look how beautiful you look. <laughs> I don't want you to dress yourself because of my little munch gain. <laughs> hmm? The fact that you're on leave does not mean you should stress yourself. Okay? I'm not stressing myself. In fact, I'm tired of staying at home all day and doing nothing. <laughs> you look so yummy. <laughs> Can I, um, you know, talk? Okay, now I have to go to work. I'll see you, okay? I love you. I love you too. Come to the house, yeah? Call me during your break, okay? I will. And drive safe. Okay. The papers are ready and Zara, my own beautiful family. What could be more important than that? Hmm? I even have a job that I enjoy. My darling, I wouldn't trade this life that I have with you for anything. Barista? Yeah? I would like you to give 50% of my inheritance to charity. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm certain. Then my work here is done. So I need to take my leave now. Right. I'll give you a call so we'll talk more on this. All right, thank you very much. Of your inheritance to charity. Mm. 
I'm so proud of you.